up for a series of runoffs. They include several key races in North Texas. Jason Whiteley joins us now to tell us the races that we should be taking a very close look at tonight. Jason. John, right now, a little less than an hour before polls close, and we're keeping our eyes on four or five big races that will determine what your November ballot looks like. Let's start at the top here. Former Dallas County Sheriff Lupe Valdez, he'll compete again against Houston businessman Andrew White. Many watchers expect Valdez to win. If so, though, she's going to have a mountain to climb just to get within striking distance of Governor Greg Abbott this fall. Republicans and Democrats are both in runoffs for Congressman Joe Barton's seat. This is Tarrant, Ellis, and Navarro counties. Ron Wright there on the left. He vows to stay far right if elected, running against airline pilot Jake Elsey on the right there. But many expect the Democratic race to be a little closer here. This is Ruby Faye Woolridge on the left. She is the establishment candidate running again for this seat, and she's up against Jonna Lynn Sanchez, who really kind of represents the new energy in the party. And finally, the big race here in Dallas County. This is Congressional District number 32. Democrats Colin Allred and Lillian Salerno. Whichever one wins, they are going to get a lot of money, millions of dollars this fall, to try to defeat Congressman Pete Sessions. Dallas Democrats are also talking about a lot of races for judges as well. In fact, it's those races really tearing at the seams of the party. Bottom line, for the first time in years, Democrats are energetic statewide, running for a lot of different seats that they really haven't competed for in the past. But Republicans, at least for now, really do not seem too worried. When polls close at 7, we'll start tweeting results. Back to you. All right, Jason, thank you.